Hey everyone, welcome back to MetaCare Tribe. Uh, today I'm going to do this quick video to tell you the update about coronavirus and how it has impacted Australia for the new migrants and new students. I'm not somebody who usually does a negative video or tell you everything bad about something or make you lose confidence, but I thought it is my responsibility to give you the real picture of what's happening around and you know if you're migrating now or if you're planning to migrate now you might be in any stage of your immigration at the moment so you might be waiting for your visa outcome you might have got the outcome you're planning to travel or you are in the process of doing your application for visa or skill assessment but you should know what to expect because this is not going to have a short-term impact at least the Australian Prime Minister has said that it will be felt for at least six months but I would say it would take at least six to twelve months for everything to come back to normal if at all it's coming back to normal and for the economy to boost for more work to be created and cash flow to be generated in the system I think it's going to take some time so I'm going to break it down how uh, from my personal experience and my perspective how life is affected um, for different people so if you take students for example the university has just started the academic year starts from uh, February so I literally saw some new um, students in supermarket this afternoon and they were in that panic mode because they were seeing people buy in panic so I'm sure you must have read the news that people are in panic mode buying and stocking up stuff there is no essential item in the grocery store so i don't know if you're aware but there are few major supermarkets or the brands uh coles uh woolworths uh so they their shelves are literally empty okay so there are different theories why people go for toilet papers and that is um something that runs out of stock so we're not going into that detail that is not the um, purpose of this video but the new students when they come they see if they want some essential toiletries or if they want some essential groceries it's not available so imagine the kind of mindset it will create in that student who has just come and who's uh, uh, just away from home and family and suddenly they see and they tend to think oh this is how life is going to be and uh, it creates a kind of a negative impact on the students I literally saw that in the eyes of the new students and uh, they spoke in Tamil so I offered them help I explained to them that this is not the reality this is not how it is um, so I thought I should do a video and you know uh, let people know it might help someone so that is a kind of um, bad uh, reality uh, today's reality that students are facing when they come in and want to buy some essentials because they're just trying to settle and looking at the classes for university students, me working in university, so I know what's happening there. So most of the class to face to face lectures are cancelled and most of the states have adapted to an online learning system. So it will not give the student a routine. It will not help them socialize, build their networks. So they'll be inside their rooms. They might be in a shared accommodation or they might be in a university accommodation. Still, there's so much of social distancing and isolation. So all the events has been cancelled. So it, it will lead to some kind of a social um, exclusion or social pressure for the students. And also the main thing, part time jobs. So every student who comes here, pays from Indian currency or any other home currency would be stressed that they need to find a part time job soon so they can pay their own bills. But it is not going to happen sometime or in the next few months because businesses are facing a very tough time and they are trying to uh, lay off a lot of people a lot of businesses are closing down uh, because most of the students uh, get uh, jobs quickly in say Domino's pizza or cafes or restaurants as a dishi or waiters but most of the restaurants have very very less uh, people today because they are fearing coronavirus spread and they don't want to go to restaurants and have food so most of the Asian restaurants in particular are being affected. So that is the reality. So there's not many jobs in, in the market for people who are already here. So it is definitely going to have an impact on students who are trying to search for jobs. So please be financially prepared. Please be mentally prepared. But this will resolve. But we just don't know when. 
okay so that's it for the students and looking at migrants looking at people skilled migrants who are trying for jobs in their own field so most of the organizations have temporarily stopped recruiting or post recruiting unless it's very very essential or it's like an emergency but everyone globally around the world knows that the problem of coronavirus is much higher than any job that has to be done so people think job can wait so most of the recruitment has um, literally paused so if you've just arrived you're planning to arrive or you've arrived and you are under depression i feel you but unfortunately that's the uh, reality and we have to face it okay so in terms of employment it's not the best scenario in the world and australia especially is facing a huge economic backslash because of this um, coronavirus outbreak so please be mentally prepared uh, to face this hard reality and schools if you're migrating with family um, so schools are not in their best shape at the moment so they are practicing something called social distancing and all the events has been cancelled and australia is known for sports all the sporting events are cancelled and after school activities it is affected everything and we are expecting the schools might close down later this week so i'm recording this on the 17th of march in the evening at six o'clock at a little time so i'm telling you um, in reality what is the picture at the moment so most of the uh, offices have chosen to work from home and any group activities have uh, like more than 500 people in case of gatherings have been cancelled and schools and universities has not been included till date because the state that i'm living in south australia has a case uh, number of 30 mm, so they are feeling safe at the moment so they don't want to create that panic mode where they shut the schools and kids are home and they can't handle but if you've just come and you're trying to enroll your kids in a school or if they've just enrolled it's not a good time to socialize and get involved in the community activities so that is something that you need to take care of when you're coming in um, from another country and in terms of family uh, the social life is completely disrupted because there's no events happening anywhere and you will have to find and be creative in ways to do stuff at home with your kids i know having um, energetic kids it's very hard to do stuff and if you're not visiting places and it is just that fear because even i didn't want to go do the panic buying but when when we see empty shelves and empty stocks you are forced to think you have a family to feed you have kids and what if you run out of groceries and you know it is just creating that panic vibe in the community and everybody is going for it so when you're moving in as a family i know it is hard if you have just arrived or if you're planning to arrive the whole scenario does not look great okay i'm not trying to panic you i'm just giving you the reality picture so people know who want to migrate might want to just wait for a little bit for things to subside a little bit and then when you come in probably this is the most beautiful country i've always told you australia has been so nice and it's given a beautiful life to all the immigrants or most of the immigrants i can speak for and you will not regret migrating here my point in this video is at this point of time is not the right time or it might not be the best time for anyone to migrate or if you've just arrived i want you all to know that this is not going to be permanent and it is just a very very temporary state uh, and it might resolve but we uh, just don't know when the time frame is no one has an answer but i think it was my social responsibility to just let you all know that this is the reality and there's nothing more or nothing less so that is the reason i wanted to let if students are migrating what to expect if migrants are migrating what to expect and if you're migrating with little children what to expect okay so it is not to really um, bring you bring the fear in you it is just a reality check to let you know that this is the harsh reality and we as a community have to face it so let's face it with confidence let's face it with the right mindset i've always spoken about mindset because that's what is very important so let's calm down relax and think of alternate strategies to do or this particular time what to get involved so if you are um, in the process of migration plan your life better with this particular calm period of time so if you're already employed 
uh, in your home country. So try to keep up your job, try to do something productive in this time. And when things subside, when you have your visa, I'm sure you will have the visa valid up to a particular point. So look at your visa grant paper. So it would have said not, must not arrive after. So that is technically like a deadline or the expiry date of the visa. So you have to get into the country by then. So you still have time. But if you have the deadline, say this week or next week, that's when there is a problem. So uh, we'll have to think how to work it out. But if you have time, uh, you know, for your visa expiry, just think about it before you come. And, and if you're migrating as a family, I would say families are safe back home. Just leave them there, migrate, try to find your space, try to find a job, try to settle a bit and then bring in your family. That's what I did when I moved here. Okay, so this is basically just an educational and awareness video and I'm not trying to uh, lower your confidence. I'm not trying to frighten you and I'm just giving you the real, real uh, truth. All right, so I'll see you all in the next video. So stay calm, stay peaceful and we'll talk soon.